Hi guys, my name is Simran and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video about art journaling for beginners. All the supplies and stationery that you need to know about if you are a beginner. First things first, let's talk about what is journaling. Journaling is to have a creative visual diary where you can record your thoughts, memories, emotions through art. Some people also do bullet journaling which is a trendy way to plan, reflect and organize your upcoming events or just your day-to-day -day life. I personally use bullet journal to record my trips and special days in a colorful and vibrant manner. For a journal, you can use a sketchbook or a diary with plain pages. Just make sure that the pages are thick enough for the art medium that you're going to use. The link to most of these supplies that I'm going to talk about in this video is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. It's not a compulsion to have all these supplies. It's just to give you an idea of what all can be used. As a bullet journal, I use this journal from Metrica's brand. I really like this since it's A5 in size, has round corners, an elastic for locking, a pen loop, a pouch on the back cover and some page markers as well. And the most important component of a bullet journal is these dotted pages which basically serve as a guide for planning. Now let's talk stationery. I use pencil, sharpener, eraser, scale, fevicol, fevi stick which is a must have if you are journaling on daily basis and a scissor of course. For brushes I use sponge brushes, round and flat brushes of different sizes and brand depending on the medium that I'm working with. You don't have to buy expensive supplies, just anything and everything that you can find easily. I use Camlin acrylic paint tubes and itsy bitsy chalk paints. You can get watercolor tubes or watercolor cakes in student or artist grade depending on your budget and requirement. There are travel friendly pocket sized watercolor cake sets also available and a palette for mixing paints. I sometimes use metallic inks and poster colors as well. Since I'm a calligrapher, I use brush pens very often. Some Indian brands like Camlin, Agile, Doms, Stick can be checked out and foreign brands like Tombow, Kareen, Zig etc. Basically you can use any regular bullet tip pen for doodling and drawing. You can also check out metallic pens from Miniso and Stedler. I use Uniball Signo White 0.7 for adding highlights to my calligraphy 
and a grey brush pen for adding shadows. Now let's talk about tapes and washi tapes. Washi tapes are decorative adhesive tapes traditionally made up of Japanese paper. They are great for craft and journaling. The best thing about them is that they are available in plenty of patterns and they are easily removable without leaving any residue or damaging the paper. I have this collection of washi tapes from Amazon, local stationery stores or high-end stationery stores, Aliexpress, some are from Miniso and some are just gifts from friends. They are really very convenient to use. The thing about journaling is that you need to keep an eye for all the creative stuff or the junk stuff that you find and make art with it. Now this one's my favorite set, I got it from Aliexpress, these are three tapes of Galaxy designs. Watch the video till the end to see how I've used some of them. I keep collecting random tags, sticky notes, these memo cards which can be sticked very easily by peeling off the cover from the back, these clear stamps from Itsy Bitsy, they are available in plenty of designs, I have linked their store below in the description box. these rubber stamps. These pages can be used for junk journaling or for spreads with vintage themes.
This is my collection of quirky cutouts from magazines, comics, newspaper etc. Some tickets, number cutouts from calendars, alphabet cutouts from magazines and random things like postal receipts, postcards, envelopes. These are from Sarah Anderson Comics. some bills and old event tickets. I hope you liked this video. If you have any query, any doubt, write down a comment and I'll get back to you. Comment below any other thing you want me to make a video on if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up share with other art enthusiasts and subscribe for more daily content of art journals and calligraphy related satisfying videos follow me on instagram at the rate midnight scribbler Thank you for watching, see you in next video, bye, take care.